Hey, Taurus. We got a little time to get to y'all. Some of y'all are. I see some of us. I don't know what to do with a relationship right now. Some of y'all been took through the ringer with relationships in general and in a twin flame dynamic. You don't even know how to be. When you get like that, I mean, just be who you are. If you're aggravated, frustrated, you don't know, or whatever. If you're dealing with somebody outside of your soul flame, or if you just met somebody new, just, I mean, be yourself. That's all the fuck you can do. Let a motherfucker know. Look, I've been through the fucking ringer. Ain't nothing wrong with me, per se. However, I'm burnt out. I don't want to know about your mama, about your daddy, about your sister, about your brother, about what your kid's sign is. About what your favorite color is, but just to the point I don't even care. But it ain't you though. It's just a lot of bullshit that I dealt with in the relationship uh, arena. It be like that, man. It be like, man. Oh, I guess that was I'm considered broken or some shit. <laughs> You don't know. <laughs> Love me or leave me. The choice is up to you. Take it or leave it. Just do what you gotta do. The levels. House on fire. So Bobby, what is going on? Let me take the picture to us. Give us a minute. One on out here. Ace of Swords. Somebody at least gonna be honest with you. Shit, you can work with that. Two people can work with honesty. That's what I'm picking up. <sighs> Even if the house is on fire, two people that are honest and upfront about their feelings and how they feel and shit. I mean, yeah, you gotta take into consideration what each other's been through. You know, you can't just be like, love me now, this way. You're like, hold on, I was just starting to learn how to walk again. Niggas been hitting me over the head with bats and everything. Bricks, <laughs> steel, poles. I mean, bro, listen. Give me a break. Should be serving. Giving decisions. Beauty, sharing, romance, true friendships, divinely protected unions, unbreakable bonds. Choosing no choosing love no matter what. Freedom in love, choosing to commit, harmony, zero bondage, soulmates, alchemy, eroticism, lovers, caring, balanced marriage, healthy communication. But it may take some time for, for, so for some of y'all. It may take some time. It just may take some time for both of y'all. You're dealing with somebody new. Some of y'all just been through the ringer with this love shit. Mm-hmm. Some of y'all are uh, responsible. You rule the second house. House of responsibility, for real. Some of y'all on y'all own, building y'all brand. That's where y'all channeling a lot of y'all energy. Y'all want to be in love, but y'all burnt out on love. You know, and it wasn't really love. It's just what you end up experiencing, thinking that you found it. Well, you can know you didn't. You just want to be with somebody. That's codependence. Trauma bonding. All that shit. You'd be like a war veteran coming out to each other. But you definitely, what you don't want to do is carry any old bricks. What you can do is tell a motherfucker the bricks you've been carrying. And that made you tag the motherfucker. You ain't never get a tag. Bricks you used to carry used to be heavy as a motherfucker. So I ain't bringing any of that shit over here. However, I was carrying a bunch of bricks at one time. And I'm tired. <clears throat> Some of y'all gonna get public recognition for the work that y'all do or high honors. It don't matter if you work in corporate, it doesn't matter. 
people uh, appreciate your work ethic, whatever that you do. Ace of Pentacles. Ancestors blessing. Money blessings. Growth. Watch out for haters. It's a reward for your patience. And it's time to invest. Some divine masculine energies may be feeling it's time to invest in some of the divine feminine energies. Well, I don't know. I don't feel like y'all care because I'm in a don't give a fuck mode. But it don't even matter. Whatever they want to do, that's cool. I'm going to make sure my shit take care of either way. Knight of Pentacles. <clears throat> some of y'all may be dealing with somebody older. Y'all think somebody older, or y'all done met somebody older, or you will meet somebody older. Something that you're not really, you know, either date your age or younger. Some of y'all really never dated anybody older than y'all. Like you 40, they 50. Archangel Michael. Archangel Yes, this is definitely protecting the union. Two of Cups. Yeah, y'all might end up going into business with this person. They want to invest in y'all business or something. I don't know. Something going to come of it. But right now, it's like two people that are so tired and exhausted from relationships. You got to really got to slow walk. And it's just really on for real, for real, the trauma side. You can't, I mean, come on. That's the truth of the fucking matter. Life in general, outside of love, love is really a big part. You keep picking the wrong mates, or the wrong mates keep picking you. You know what I mean? However, you also tired just from day to day reality. Damn. Somebody doing some witchcraft, trying to stop some. Somebody in a singular energy that may, y'all may have met somebody that was with somebody and it was a witch doing shit to try to block the union. They all getting found out. It's so stupid. Stop it. Uh huh. Some of y'all the sweetest pie. Ready, you like ready to be, like you know what it takes to be a good woman. You just exhausted from being a good woman to the wrong motherfuckers. Some of y'all gonna be happy this, that a person know how to hold their own. Some of y'all ended up in a twin flame union where that person knew how to hold their own too. And that was one of the things y'all liked about them because y'all may have gotten with people before that y'all had low key help call all the time financially. Look out for me. You know, this shit. <coughs> It's like reasons why people hold on to their twin flame. And it's usually something that they wanted in a person, but they never found it. Even something simple as not having to take care of nobody. That was a whole ass grown man. Or somebody ain't had to fight with, you know? But they didn't last. Some of y'all, they broke camp after six months of being with them. Eight months. Four months. Nine months, seven months. Some of y'all cross watching for a Taurus, they on your ass, girl. Witchcraft and all. Somebody with a stubborn energy. They stubborn as fuck. I mean, they want to give you everything that you need, okay? Use your imagination with that shit. If they haven't come in, they will be. They may have their eye on you and you ain't even fucking aware because you're dealing with some shit, dealing with a divine masculine separation, witch, witchcraft. You know, like somebody watching you, they gonna get you. Like, just say, for instance, you got some type of, um, if you t read tarot, it could be somebody that's interested in you and just watching to see if... They can pick up that you no longer in the twin flame situation. They ain't going nowhere. They watching some of y'all at work. 
Whatever y'all do for a living, somebody watching y'all's ass. Y'all ain't paying attention to it because y'all came out of something like a twin flame shit. Uh-huh. Will of Fortune. Keep coming out. People's fortune is about to change in love. Y'all are divinely protected and the witches cannot get to some of y'all because y'all so divinely protected. However, they still do shit and some of y'all still feel the effects of what they do. For real. That's what y'all focused on. Protecting yourself and building your business. And the twin flame dynamic of some of y'all is in separation. Y'all may end up with somebody else. Because this person is just too traumatized. These people are just too traumatized. To be who they need to be to the women that they, you know, are in separation with. Just like walked away from you and just fell in the pile of shit. They've been trying to clean it off ever since, but it ain't working. They just keep collecting more and more shit. Five of Pentacles. Left some of y'all on in the cold. Mm -hmm. Or was married or some shit and told you at the last minute and gave something. Some ignorant as fuck. Some ignorant as fuck. Y'all got left out in the cold. Or left in the dark about some shit. They left out that part. Some men do be so fucking traumatized. They ain't nothing they could. They just they don't even care. Just like I feel how y'all feel. Some of these divine mountain with y'all separation with. They can't find a fuck to give. Some of these people got kicked out of wherever they just went, where she kick them out every five fucking minutes. Herman in reverse. Herman is home to me. If it comes up in reverse, I'm going to have to get up out of there. An art of a fucking crisis. I'm going to read what it is, but it's, all, it's also um, tied to um, false guidance. May suffer from childhood rejection. Oh, see? Yeah, that part. No, it's not. It's right. Depression. Same card. The nine of wands is the damn hermit energy in reversion. It's in my deck. Depression, self-pity, closed off, closed-minded, self-deceit. And then it's who swords energy. They can't receive or give. They're traumatized. Lies being hidden, possible fraud, unwillingness to learn from the past experiences. Yeah, they ain't get the strength. They know the amount of work that they need to do. You just made them aware of the amount of work that they need to do. Now it's like, holy shit. You know what I'm saying? Right. I'd be away from her, however many, because it's a pride thing. They can heal around you. They just don't want to. So they send the ego to get to die. That's work they got to do. Foolishness, cancel plans, delays, and postponement of projects, forced to wait. Some of them, they're always canceling plans on you. You think you don't see them? Some of y'all still in connection with them, but they don't ever show up. Or they always have to do something, or something with the kids, or something happened with this bitch kind of shit. Not listening to sound advice. I knew that was a part of it. Yeah. You go outweighing common sense, right? <laughs> Bad timing. May suffer from social anxiety. Unwillingness to forgive, not facing up to one's wrongdoing. So they act they acting like they they blind to their own bullshit. They, some of them up in age, like forties and fifties, man. Ain't shit shaking. Your ancestors be watching all of this shit. Mm, mm, mm. And they can be responsible and everything. That's something y'all like to follow them. But they fucked up. I ain't even joking. They can be self-sufficient or actually put no money or nothing. But they just got kicked out of wherever they was living with. Or this person kicks them out on a regular basis. It's just what they do. On some back, back, forth, and forth shit. Just off that alone drains the fuck out of them. And they sitting up in a nine of wands. On top of what I read... Come along with the Herman in reverse. 
They back to the bullshit. They don't went from a night. They back at it. They still at Prince of Wines when they kind of just out here. It was one. This is the thrill of the chase. Some they do, so they don't feel like shit all the time. But they know they can't pull that off with you. But that that Prince of Wine shit, they don't do nothing but get more soul ties. Right. And I say. Y'all, when I start talking, I feel people getting untired like the motherfucker. You're like, oh, really? That's what he doing? Oh, right. well, I'm going to go ahead and talk to homeboy. Can't be shit. <laughs> See, we need some more. Um, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about him. Don't worry about him, sweetheart. Don't worry about him. You ain't never got the time. And they don't either. Will of fortune, fate takes over. Fate kicks in. You ain't just sitting up there about to keep on. Three of Pentacles. Let's straighten it out. Some of y'all gonna go straighten it back out with a soulmate y'all want to be with or want to be with y'all, should I say? Moon Goddess. Let me see. Oh, that's who they fucking with. Moon goddesses. That's who they Prince of Wands and That's what y'all ancestors seen. Well, some women they work with. Especially if they work at Amazon. I'm here in Walmart. Wherever they work down here. You want to kick them out and go to work that next day, honey? They be all up in so and so face. They be on the for the weekend. Jesus, the kind of moon goddesses they deal with. Hot mama, Miss Ivana. Usually rock the product and sometimes the bunny. Check you for your cream and your riches. Got your four, give me more. That's why you ain't all the rich bitches. Puff daddy, pump the hummer for the summer. I follow. Six month old bad bitch on the stroll. Tell them how we roll. Cruise control. That's what this brother's on. <laughs> Cruise control. Okay. They traumatized, honey. Nothing make a woman feel better. Dimple brothers and no more brothers. Spider lovers and mad cheddars. Chilling in the biz with my me. Goals. Trying to take a nigga for his pesos. If he says so, then I'm going to change it. And lick up in my twat. Ooh, you hit the spot. It's not going to test the boom, boom, nanny, nanny. Put nanny, nanny. Hey. So they... I mean, they out here, bruh. <laughs> they, what they, what they told you, they'll never give up. Never go down on nobody. They ain't going down and shit. They going down. They going down, all right. In more ways than one. Who do they know? Because somebody was told to stay put with y'all before they went into separation. And they took their motherfucking ass against really what their god mind is, which is really their ancestors on some real shit. I should have listened to my first mind. It's really like saying I should have listened to my god mind and stayed with the divine feminine. But no. They want to do it their way, like they Frank Sinatra. So now, they motherfucking ass is in a pickle. And that could be for some of y'all that decided, you know what? I'm going to focus on getting these bitches up out of my motherfucking life that he doesn't keep dumping off because he keep wanting to do this fad D bullshit. Take care of my motherfucking children. Take care of my motherfucking business. Build my business. And man, my motherfucking business. Y'all met somebody. That particular somebody is a soulmate energy. They also was in a situation where they was trying to leave somebody. So you said, fuck you too. They, some of them like this too. Because they should have just stayed put. But they got, they, they be having big plans. They be having big plans. And God be saying, whenever y'all get finished. Whenever y'all get finished. Thinking you can fix it, 
It's going to take you five years. I can get you out of this shit in like five weeks. Why don't you get the fuck out of here, bro? Send me y'all dealing with a Virgo. Send me y'all dealing with a Capricorn. Send me y'all dealing with a Taurus like yourself. Like I said, Taurus, that you came out already. Stubborn, two stubborn beings. There's something else. But fate is about to turn. And it's got to turn in our favor. Lucky right here. Yeah, somebody decided. Somebody decided. Somebody decided. I don't know whether it's y'all twin flame or they soulmate, but I feel like it's y'all soulmate. Or it could be both at the same time. And y'all may be in a pickle where y'all got to choose who y'all want to fuck with. And this is how some of y'all divine masculine will be feeling if y'all don't choose them. But this motherfucker still got a lot of messy shit behind the scenes. Way more messy shit than y'all uh, soulmate got. That's for somebody. I don't know who. He felt like you broke his heart by being with somebody else because he just knew he had it in the bag and he had finally made up his mind to stop fucking around. And that could have been like yesterday kind of shit. <laughs> so somebody, it's two people that made up their mind. One could have got kicked out or both could have got kicked out with some shit. And both of them could have been dealing with witches. However... You gonna pick between you gonna pick one over the other, but somebody gonna be bad. Cause the King of Pentacles sitting right up in this burning house, the one they left y'all in. Five of Pentacles, Lucky Luciano. Crazy, oh, look at me now. Oh, I'm getting paper. Some people know y'all get paper too, or y'all got you know potential. They see, they see the vision. You made it plain, can you see? <laughs> some of y'all gonna get some good rest tonight. Some good rest. Doing y'all detox baths so y'all can protect yourself. That's funny as fuck. Mm-hmm. The wheel about to turn. Yep. Yes, sir. Ooh, people dropping holes left and right, Divine Pam. It's all about the money. Money. Some of y'all Taurus women. Ooh, y'all done cry. Ooh, over this energy. Ooh. I don't know. Y'all might end up with that soulmate on the place. They dropping hoes left and right. They see the error of their ways. And they say, well, she love me for who I am. And it really ain't gonna matter. You know what I'm saying? Whatever I, I, I'm dealing with, she could be able to help me deal with it. Y'all told them that before. And they still. Seven of Cups. You know, go right back into the witch's arms. And then incur more witches. Giving away more money. Wasting more money, more money, more money. And y'all are like, what? <laughs> y'all know how Taurus is about that money, boy. Do y'all want to even be bothered, you know? He feel like he will. Ooh, some of that. Look, look, look. You're a target of envy. <laughs> be aware of close acquaintances. So it could be some people on your platforms looking at y'all, and you are the target of envy, honey. Magic wanted to come up like this or some shit. But magic is definitely in the building. Because I'm playing a wing, man. On being patient, let go of that which you're waiting on. On being patient, let go of that which you're waiting on. So some of these motherfucking hoes, man. Damn. That's the trick. It's still witchcraft. Even though some of y'all twin flames made the choice and decision, somebody is stronger than somebody else. Somebody has the will or somebody may know something about witchcraft and they know how to get out of shit. Or somebody told them something. Or it was a mother or aunt something. I don't know. But somebody know how to get the fuck out of this and somebody do not. And somebody don't because they got too many that they deal with or, or put their penis in. Another person may have been like that, but they settle in on one person and only fuck them from time to time. So it ain't really so many energies that you would have to deal with behind the scenes. However, somebody's divine masculine, whether it's a twin flame or a soulmate. <clears throat> The bitch kicked him out, but she's going to pull him back. 
She do this all the time. This particular time, he just said, I am fucking done. So he thinks. No. He ain't did nothing to do nothing. He ain't cut no cords. He ain't did shit. He don't know shit. He just think he can just poof, puff out of there. No. 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 Two of cups. Y'all gonna choose somebody. And somebody gonna be mad as fuck. At they self, at the end of the day, because it's how some of y'all sit all the time. By yourself. Y'all don't do shit. If it ain't you, it's your children, but you already got no friends or nothing. You can't chill by yourself or whatever. And if you do kick it, it's just on oh, you. Yeah. But you ain't just sitting up talking to people all the motherfucking time. Mm -hmm. Judgment in reverse. Damn, all these cards in reverse. Yeah, somebody lost patience. You know what I'm saying? Somebody let them go. But the bitch gonna be right back, pulling them back. You see all the motherfucking strings attached? Judgment in reverse, where he may have thought he was free, but no. She ain't never heard. Impeding progress. Yeah, the person that has all in fucking separation. We're doing shit. That you gotta sit in the fucking tub and soak to get that shit away from you or off of you. King of Cups in reverse. Energy. Lord have mercy. Scandals, treacherous, treacherous, possessive, possessive. There you have it. And y'all are real possessions. I think a lot of Taurus are possessive. Y'all get it fucked up though. Y'all ruled by Venus. It's a love planet. Sometimes I feel like Taurus mistake the possessiveness. The possessiveness really should be for children playing on my doorbell. The possessiveness should really be for what you're responsible for. Possessions. Earthly possessions. Like you take care of your house, you do you take care of your business, your accounts, and get through your taxes, that kind of shit. But because y'all rule by Venus, I feel like it makes y'all possessive in the areas of love when y'all really don't want to be like that. It's cool to be possessive, but some of y'all deal with that shit like, why am I so motherfucking possessive? Well, y'all rule by Venus. Switch it up. Realize you, you're you ruled by a house that rules possessions. But you're ruled by a planet that rules love. You see? You should just work on that shit. Just detach from it if you don't like it. I don't feel like it's nothing wrong with possession to a degree when it's like overprotective. But people mistake that for possession and it's not. It's just like being a parent. Somebody really cared in no deal. Won't you go out and get fucked up? What is you doing? Come over here. Stop hanging around those dudes kind of shit, you know? Which will make a man look possessive and also a woman. It can get misinterpreted. It really can. Anyway. Scandals. That's what they say. All this other stupid shit. Possessive, liar. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Vices, drugs, yeah. Man. Disloyal. Well, it went back. Avoid this person in business. So they ain't even a good business person no way to do business with. Because they giving away their money. Tricking off with bitches on the job when homegirl kick him off. She give him room to fly, but she call that bird right back, baby. Warning not to get on their bad side. So it's going to be some police call. Codependent. She's codependent. Misleading. So that's that motherfucker telling them, bitch, you love her just because you in her. I love you, baby. Yes, I love you. Unrealistic. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Self-absorbed, so you're dealing with the ego, a little narcissism, overbearing. I think they right, want to be in control. I'm the man, but Prince of One. Excessive flirting. Boy, oh boy, that job, on that job. Excessive flirting, excessive, okay? Shapeshifter. Manipulation. You sleeping with a bunch of manipulative shape manipulative shapeshifters, especially if they're a water sign and they weren't a manipulator or they use a shapeshifter on the positive spectrum. Now they're the worst kind of shapeshifters and the worst kind of manipulators because that's what the fuck they keep sticking their dicks in, man. What do you think this is? Walk away with nothing? This ain't no divorce.
And they cute. Some of them real cute. Pretty boy syndrome. Separation. Deception. Some of y'all gonna roll with this soulmate. And it ain't a bad thing because I really feel like a soulmate can turn into a twin flame. If you come back that many lifetimes or if you got real with it, the two of cups came up. So that's showing y'all willing to work with somebody. Y'all just don't have that energy right now based off these ignorant ass energies. Clearly, someone should have crossed the room. Tell y'all, y'all soulmate ain't got shit. They got shit too. That's what I'm saying. You're tired. You, know, you could, where you could do it, you're like, shit, do I want to? Joy through spiritual growth. Be a light to others. Answers that come through meditation. So y'all gonna have to do some more meditation. There is a better course of action available to you. Working alone may not be your best. Yeah, just fish. Working alone may not be the best answer. Review all details. You know, you're tired. You need help. This is this what the fucking help made us for. Not to be sitting up just fucking all day, not getting nothing done. You have known each other before. Past life relationships. That's for y'all twin flames. Heart to heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. I feel like this is soulmate energy. A heart to heart conversation gonna be had. That's why I feel like y'all like, do I even, you know, you're tired. You're tired. You're tired. You don't wanna talk. You can just go get something to eat and not talk about something so serious. But let it kind of, you know, grow organically. No pressure, you know, but you know that's where you're going to be. So let's just slow down for a minute, even though we know we don't got time for real. That's where we at right now. This shit is weird. Your hard work is paying off. High priestess. Some of y'all are high priestess energies. You know exactly what to do. The benefit of experience. A time for your career rather than relationships. So you knew exactly what to do. You knew exactly how to channel your energy. I'm about to protect myself. Some of y'all decided y'all was done with the twin flame shit. And that was it. They may have still been trying to take action and thinking they about to be doing something, but somebody about to pull them right back into some bullshit. And that's something that y'all will have to deal with. They phone with her doing something to your car or whatever, because she ain't done. Because he done said some shit. And that's how they be doing spell work, too, to feel justified in doing it. And he shouldn't have told me that then. Your worry is unnecessary. Focus your thoughts on the outcome you desire. And these feelings of regret, guilt, or worry to your angels. Yeah, let it go. Just go forward with the other person. The search for meaning in life, consider an alternative approach. Surround yourself with wise teachers or friends. Meditate and contemplate. Second, meditate. Embrace your inner child, new friends, or rekindle relationships, children, or childhood. Yeah, somebody coming back. And somebody think they're coming back. That's for somebody. But they're not. Because the witches is on their ass. More than one in a while. Well, they're quick. They're going to learn. They're sticking their dick in everybody. Free yourself. Yeah, that's what they say. Go ahead and free yourself. And then when he do, he be like, it's time to take back my life. And then he about to take the long walk, and she snatched his motherfucking ass right back into the twilight zone. Some of these people y'all in a separation with. And they think they're coming back, but they're not. Y'all going to end up with a high-level soulmate. Time apart from your partners on the horizon. It's been on the horizon because y'all been in separation. They really thought they got free, but no. Uh-uh. She said, get back here. She said, get back here. Because you say duh. you was going to be with her. That's what you say. And that's why she started doing this spell work in the first place. Because you told her that you belonged to her, that you was hers, that that dick was hers. She don't care if it was a crime of passion. You told her. That's what some people. Some of y'all know this, high priestess. Oh, crap. If y'all feeling the vibe, please like, share, and subscribe. Yeah, this person gonna be too salty.